we're here in, in Winchester Science Centre, we're an educational charity that strives to spark curiosity in science, technology, engineering and maths. One of the ways we do that is we have a fantastic hands-on interactive science centre for families uh, from all backgrounds to come and enjoy and be inspired by STEM. We're embarking on a major transformation of our exhibition. We're creating a new exhibition about sound, vibration and hearing. And one of the things we really needed to overcome was the noise in our space. So our visitors were telling us that our exhibition here was just far too noisy and that was stopping them from wanting to come and when they were here it was causing them to be quite tired and also just to really kind of, uh, it was preventing them from enjoying the experience as best they could. So part of our exhibition refurbishment is to create a new acoustic experience here to really dampen down the sound and make these lovely pockets of space where it's really calm and quiet and really more enjoyable. We're about a third of the way through progress in, in developing our exhibition space and what's behind me at the moment is our new leaves and tree area. So we're creating uh, a quiet space where there's a, a beautifully uh, built tree that is going underneath these leaves you can see behind me where we can sit outside and we can view this lovely um, landscape of the South Downs National Park behind me and what we'll be able to do with these acoustic leaves that we've had bespokely created by Ecofon is to have this just little moment of quiet and calm. This zone here is about nature and sound in our natural world and so it seemed perfect to have this lovely view and to have a quiet space where we can just sit and relax and reflect. The key thing for me that I've learned as we've been working on this project is just how wide and diverse the, the acoustics industry is. There's so much to take away from this exhibition about how much sound affects our, our lives every day. And I think it's, it's an incredible part of, of science and I'd really love some, some families to go away saying, you know, I didn't know that. I didn't know that there was this branch of science called acoustics and I'm really excited about being a part of that in the future. So hopefully we've inspired the next generation of acoustic engineers and, um, and that, that future generation that can go on and, uh, and help solve the problems in the future that you know, we still can't yet foresee. From the very beginning uh, and early discussions with Ben Ward, the uh, chief executive, uh, it was clear that there was a problem in the Science Centre and we're a local company. Uh, we very much wanted to help. So what we did was we came into the space and, uh, and saw a fabulous exhibit um, and an opportunity to tackle something that was a serious problem in terms of the acoustics. So what we were trying to achieve was a general improvement for the visitor experience and to get, really go further than that uh, to showcase how acoustics is, is relevant and important to everybody in their daily lives. It's very important to, to see this space as, as one as, as a whole but then also in, in terms of its areas and what you're trying to achieve in that space. It's, it's practically impossible to put enough in absorption in a space like this to make it to completely acoustically dry. So what you really need to do and what we did was break it up into spaces and areas and experiences so that as you can see behind me this area we've got the entrance area so as you walk into the pyramid you get a, a calm entrance, uh, a sense of anticipation and started to design interventions that would create an experience for those uh, who are visiting. But it was a fundamental part of the brief that accessibility was, was import so important. So that's not just the physical accessibility, but also every step of the way the acoustics has been designed to, to enhance uh, for everybody, uh, because this is a space, a cathedral of science, where uh, it should be celebrated. And acoustics really helps that be possible. Uh, but it gives everybody the opportunity to learn something and take something away, perhaps that they'll use in their daily lives. So what we'll have as, a, as an end result will be a space that is, is comfortable to be in, um, enables you to have the space to uh, experience the different exhibits that are here, and also have calm places where you can contemplate, um, such as the, the tree area and so forth. So really lots of diversity, which then goes with the accessibility to create a fantastic experience. Ecofon have a fantastic range of products. Um, it gave us the opportunity to, to, to not really um, cut corners, an opportunity to really explore the full palette of the thing, things that Ecofon offers as products. So I, as a palette, really wasn't limited at all.
We got invited to come along and visit the Winchester Science Centre uh, to experience it before it underwent its um, refit. And coming in, um, the noise levels, the energy levels in the environment were really, really powerful and strong. And it made for a very difficult environment to be in, even when we just visited for a short time for a meeting here. And we felt that as Ecophon, we could have a really big impact on that and bring some materials and some systems into place that really changed the environment and made the experience for people visiting and taking part in the activities that go on here a really uh, enjoyable and uh, brilliant experience for them. So we looked at what we could bring. We worked with uh, the, the team here to understand what kind of materials, what they wanted, what purpose they wanted out of this, uh, at the site and this space. And we, we looked at the materials and the products that we had and started to develop a design and, uh, and some creative uh, use of the materials to really enhance the exhibition as well as create a really good acoustic environment. It works on many levels. So in the entrance area where we are now, so it becomes a really welcoming and, and, and calm place for people to first experience the centre, uh, for them to go through the, the um, uh, joining in uh, the centre and um, the activity and actually getting into it, right through to how it enhances the exhibition spaces. So really good sound uh, performance in areas so people can uh, really get the most out of the exhibition and, and the learning experience that they have in the centre.